Hello fellow VR pilot and welcome to Reality Remake. You and many others want to have more planes to fly in VTOL VR. Well, there are a bunch that you can get your hands on for free with mods that are easy to install. More about that at the end of this video. Here are three interesting modded VTOL VR planes that you can try today. First, let's introduce an American Cold War classic, the F-4 Phantom II. Produced from 1958 to 1981, this interceptor and fighter bomber is the most produced American supersonic military aircraft in all of history. Back in its day, the F-4 was setting speed and altitude records left and right, though it's a couple of generations behind the jets flown in VTOL VR. The first thing you'll notice in the cockpit is that it is wildly different from what you're used to in VTOL VR. You've got a very tall instrument panel leading up to a simple gun sight, a radar warning receiver screen, and a radar display prominently placed in the center. The radar screen is entirely different from the usual VTOL VR radar screens with a custom background and simple lines shown for radar contacts. There are custom switches and levers that are much different from what you'd usually find in this game. Here's how the cockpit looks compared to an actual F4 Phantom II cockpit. Despite the jankiness on some of the switches and other controls and the lack of textures, the F4 Phantom II is a really unique experience in VTOL. Not only do you feel constantly underpowered despite the dual engines at the back, but even simple turns and maneuvers feel much harder to pull off than they do even in the T-55. Still, the Phantom carries a pretty respectable ordnance load while still having the thrust to weight ratio needed to get off the tarmac in time. While you can access a single MFD by flipping a switch, you can also go the more realistic route and rely completely on your instruments, radar warning receiver, and radar display. You even have a new set of buttons used just to change your weapons. It's a very interesting cockpit to try when you're used to the usual VTOL VR fare. Flying this thing will make you feel significantly underpowered compared to what you're used to and compared to your opponents, so it's a great change of pace for a veteran pilot. The F-4 Phantom II breaks a lot of your usual reliance on your GPS and HUD and forces you to use your radar display and instruments to much greater effect than ever before. Trying out missions designed for the F-A-26 in this thing is very difficult to say the least, but an interesting challenge. Big thanks to modern Vast Spark for uploading this aircraft. Now let's check out a Soviet Cold War classic as well. The MiG-21, NATO designated as Fishbed. Produced from 1959 to 1985, this supersonic jet fighter and interceptor is the most produced supersonic jet aircraft in aviation history. Not just in the Soviet Union, the most produced anywhere, ever. Just like the F-4, the MiG-21 is a very old jet when compared to what you're up against in VTOL VR. It's at least a couple of generations behind. The MiG-21 will make you rely on your instruments and radar display just as much as the Phantom does. While it does have a custom radar screen that wasn't working, unfortunately, there is still an option to use an MFD instead. The MiG-21 also has a very interesting cockpit with the same interior color as a real MiG. Again, the instrument panel is dominated by dials, buttons, and switches. There's a custom radar warning receiver and a custom gun sight as well, also placed really high up on the dashboard. Once again, there's buttons to change your selected weapon based on what hard points they're mounted on. Just like in a real MiG, you sit really low inside of the cockpit, more inside of the aircraft than on top of it as you are with more modern airframes. Here's a comparison with a real fish bed cockpit. What's most fun about flying the MiG-21 is going really fast and zipping in between enemy fighters. While you'll lose a lot of energy on turns, the MiG-21 uses Soviet Dorito wing technology to quickly regain speed, and getting in close for a dogfight is a ton of fun in this thing. Not to mention an incredible challenge, since you'll be trying to go for guns kills against more maneuverable enemies. The MiG-21 only has four hardpoints to carry missiles and bombs though. Only having four air-to-air -air missiles makes this an extremely lightly armed and, again, challenging plane to use. Still, zooming around the skies is a ton of fun in this new aircraft, and just like with the Phantom, it is an extremely challenging option. Big thanks again to Modder Vast Spark for uploading this aircraft as well. Now for our final fighter, the Saab Jazz 39C Gripen, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. Introduced in 1996, the Gripen is a Swedish multi-role fighter with a single engine and a wide range of capabilities. Unlike our previous two mods, this is based on an aircraft that is still in active service today. The Gripen actually feels like a modern plane and has the amenities of one. The heads-up display is large and full of helpful information, and you've got a whopping three MFDs to play with, though the interior is extremely, super, awfully black. It is easy to lose sight of your joystick or a throttle sometimes, but turning on the cockpit light is helpful for this. The Gripen even has a custom background for its nav screen, though that was bugging out when this footage was taken. It's also got some custom UI elements on the MFDs themselves to give a slightly less futuristic feel when compared to the newer 
Denver Jets in VTOL VR. Make no mistake though, the Gripen is definitely capable of matching them. Despite being a single engine aircraft, the Gripen can generate some pretty decent speed and feels like a better version of the T-55. The Gripen takes turns much better than that trainer jet and also carries a pretty decent ammunition load, though the Gripen has a huge advantage over any of the base VTOL VR planes, unless you count the helicopter, by having a radar that can detect both ground and air targets right out of the box, which makes it an absolutely amazing reconnaissance aircraft that can quickly spot elusive ground targets. Overall, the Gripen is an absolute blast to fly, and while feeling different from other VTOL VR aircraft, also feels like a peer to them. Big thanks to mod author Not Polar for uploading this aircraft. That's a taste of some of the free planes you can add in VTOL VR with mods. If you want to know how to do this yourself, then check out the article at realityremake.com linked in the description. As mentioned a few times previously in this video, expect some jankiness with these mods. I couldn't even get the mod that adds more missiles to these planes to work, probably due to a recent update to the game, so your luck may vary depending on when the game and when these mods were last updated. Still, they're easy to install, free, and a fun change of pace from the usual airframes you have access to in this game. If you want to see some more gameplay of any of these planes, or want to see more modded VTOL VR planes, then feel free to let me know. Have a great flight.